to my channel after taking a month's break I am back and if this is your first time seeing this face please subscribe down below and for my returning subscribers much love um so something that's going to be new on this channel I'm going to be posting on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays Tuesdays are called thrifty Tuesdays Thursdays well they just random Thursdays we don't have a name for that yet Saturday and Sundays are going to be weekend beauties and that is where I'm going to be giving you beauty tips now for today's Tuesday, Tuesday thrifty I am going to be trying out a t-shirt hack that I saw and I was like this is so cool I can't wait to do it because it looked like it would be such a good addition to my closet so I was like okay let's try this now you guys are going to be the judge if this was a yay or a nay. I already have my answer. Now just stick around and watch the video. Okay guys, so as you can see I have an old t-shirt and yes it does say 11 to 12 because all my old stuff is in these black boxes that are under here, which you guys can't see, but yeah. And I did not feel like rummaging through an entire box. I just picked the thing that was on the top. So anyways, um, yes, it is very creased. So what you're going to do is like, I'm going to cut it how short you want it. And just make sure that it's aligned so that you don't cut the back and the front uneven. So what you're going to do is make sure that the piece that you cut out, you're able to like keep some and cut enough for like, how do I say it? Cut enough so that for the next step that we're going to do, you're going to have enough, um, fabric left over so you can do the next step so don't cut too little but don't also cut too much if you're not comfortable with that um, size I cannot believe that I cut that that's so straight like this may have been the only thing in my life that I have cut straight oh my gosh okay there was a little mishap there but anyways if you want, you can hem the bottom of this so that it seems more professional looking. But for me, I'm very lazy and I do not have time to be hemming this. So, I'm going to turn it inside out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is like mark an outline of this t-shirt if you want and you want to like for it to be very fitted what you're going to do is like place a, like a tank top over it so that it fits you very snugly but I'm just going to do it freehand okay and I'm just going to do it I'm doing it with the yellow cookie because I do not know where the chalk is and you can barely see that well it's enough for you to see where you're going but Make sure you align this properly. Okay. And there you have your line. Okay. Now you're going to put this aside now that you've done that. And then you're going to bring back that piece that you cut out. And then what you're going to do is cut. Oh. Wait, let me make this even. There we go. What you're going to do is you're going to cut two strips from this and once you cut two strips okay I'm gonna show you I'm gonna first cut two strips of this why is this not aligning properly <laughs> feel free to do measurements but for me I just prefer to just eyeball it Pulling out a ruler and like measuring everything. Ooh. So I just prefer to do it this way. But if you really, if you really want it to be meticulous and like not have any errors and stuff, yeah, use measurements. There. Now, once you get here, what you're gonna do? 
Just take this and separate it. And you're going to cut off this bulky piece that you see here. Because we do not need it. And you're going to do the same to the other side. Where's the other side? Oh, it's here. And you do the same. You're going to cut it. And then you're going to cut this bulky piece right there. Okay. And now you're going to cut out another strip and divide it just like how I did it before. Now it is done and what you can do is just cut off this excess that we have here. Okay, and then I am going to go off camera and sew this down and then I will be back. Okay, I am back and as you can see I have sewed down this side of it and now I am going to take another piece and I am going to do this other part of it and make sure that it's like on top of this one and then I'm going to cut it where is my scissors I'm going to cut the excess okay let's put it a bit there okay cut the excess and now I'm going to pin it down like I did the other side. Here we go. And I'm going to leave it like that. That's already so much pins. And I'm going to sew this. And once I've sewn this on the side, I'm going to also sew on the outside. And then I'm going to do what I did to this side on the other side. So once I'm done that, then I'll come back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am done. I sewed these two and I sewed these two. And now it's down to the last part and we are going to cut like let's say three more strips out of this and then we're going to connect them together.
So we're gonna take one, two, three pieces and join them together. And then we have the other three pieces. One, two, three. Now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna sew them together like this. And then I will be back. Okay, so I am done. And as you can see, it is a very long piece. And what we're going to do is that we are going to take a safety pin and we're going to attach it to one end of this. Okay, I'm going to clip it and what we're just going to do is like just loop it through. go almost done guys just gotta pull this through make it like some of the same length on the other side pull this one up right there so this can go through like that and you can see oh. then we're gonna do the same to the other side Take the pin out. Now when you've finished, it should look like this. And just take off the pin. Oh, just one card. There you go. And let's turn it the right way around. Do, do, do. Let's just move that like that. Okay, as you can see, you can basically pull this in, and that is the style of our top, and in this you can just style it in your way how you want. I'm not really good at knots. so I can model it for you guys and you can see hey how guys, it looks. Now, as you can see it was a bit short which is an understatement because it literally came above my boobs which is why I'm wearing that undershirt and I'm so sorry for that stain. I didn't see it until it showed up on the camera and also just tell me in the comment section if it's a yay or a nay and I will see you guys in the next one.